they have some awareness of what poverty can mean to an individual. Let's focus in for a moment on what it can mean more specifically for those who don't have the ability to afford transit. It's walking to the doctor's office in the snow or the rain across town because there's too much month left at the end of your money. It's wanting to attend a free local festival with your children to get out of the house, but not going because you can't afford the $26 round trip to get the family there and back. It's a free festival, but you still can't afford to go. It's spending your morning debating whether you should use your last couple dollars to go to the food bank or to buy some milk. You need milk for your home, you might get some at the food bank, as well as some other fresh food that your family needs. It's showing up sweaty and exhausted for a job interview, because you had to walk two kilometers across town in the middle of summer to get there. You need that job so much that you could not miss that interview, but you also couldn't afford the bus to get there. It's feeling demoralized, angry even, as you watch another half-empty bus pass you. You're sick of walking, your feet hurt, you're tired, but it doesn't matter because you're broke. Poverty isn't easy. Nothing about it is. And most people are not far from having to rely on government assistance themselves. Losing a paycheck or two can leave many anywhere between lacking a means to buy food to homeless. The choices we create today for those in need may be the same choices that we come upon in our future if we face financial difficulties ourselves. Regardless of who a person is, what they have, or where they come from, Every member in our community deserves freedom of mobility at a cost that they can afford. Let's return public transit to the public. Let's allow those who need a little help the right to ride the bus for free. Thank you.